since the integral of x times the parentheses to the next inside and the rest to the second power. And we'll start off with a small u substitution. Then u is equal to the inside, which is ln x. And then I'm not going to look at this and differentiate both sides because I want to look at this as x is equal to e to the u and then differentiate both sides. Because this way, I can get dx equals to the derivative e to the u is e to the u. The u differential, right? And now we can take this integral into the u world. This is going to be the integral. The x is what? e to the u. We found it already. Haha. -ha. So this is e to the u. And then right here we have ln x is just u, so we have u, but then that's in the parentheses, and then raised to the second power. And then for the dx is what? e to the u, the u. And now what can we do this? Of course, otherwise, why I'm making this video, right? This is the integral, u squared, let's put that down first, and then e to the u times e to the u, we add the exponents, so u plus u is 2u, so this is e to the 2u, and this is the u. And how can we integrate this? We have to use integration by parts. Of course, we'll do it with the di method. So you guys should know the deal, right? If you guys don't, please check the video in the description. I'm going to differentiate u squared. So let's put that down right here. And I'll integrate e to the 2u. So look at this and differentiate that. We first get 2u, and then we get 2, and then we get 0. So we can stop. This is the best case, right? And now let's integrate e to the 2u. We get 1 half e to the 2u, and then 1 over 4 e to the 2u, and then 1 over 8, e to the 2u. And we are so ready because the diagonal is the answer, right? And then be sure to account for the plus minus on the side. First, this is what we're going to have. Pass the u squared times 1 half this, so we get 1 half u squared e to the 2u. And then this is negative 2u, so be sure you have the negative right here. And 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 half, and that's minus, so that's minus 1 half u e to the 2u. And then this times that is 1 over 4. So plus 1 over 4 e to the 2u. Oh my god, this is so nice, right? And now we have to take this back to the x world. Well, we know u is ln x. So u squared is what? u squared is going to be parentheses ln x in the parentheses square, right? How about e to the 2u? Do we know about that? Yes, we do, right? Because right here we know x is equal to e to the u. And we can just look at this equation and then square both sides. So that you see this is e to the 2u and this is just x squared. So I need to use this and I also need to use that. That's all, right? So now let me put down 1 half. And you know e to the 2u is going to give you x squared. And let's put that down first, OK? So this right here already done in red. So this is going to give us x squared. And then for the u squared, we know this is ln in the parentheses and then squared. So let me put this down in white. So that's it for the first part. And then for the next part, we have minus 1 half. And you know the deal. e to the 2u is x squared. So let's put that down. x squared first, of course. And then for the u, you know it's just ln x. So let's multiply by ln x. And then plus 1 over 4, e to the 2u again. Oh my god. And that's just x squared. And then we are done. Plus c. And we will box this as usual.